you have the right to be yourself. I remember before doing this talk, I thought a lot about what to do because I wanted others to like it. But most of all, I wanted people, people to understand it. Now I have decided to talk about something that I want others to know, perhaps relate to and realize on a deeper level. I want my talk to make you real, realize how you can use your difference to your advantage and that you don't have to be ashamed of who you are. My name is Ferela Veneas, I'm 15 years old, and I'm going to talk about the power of being yourself. I will use myself as an example for this. All my life, I have tried to fit in, to understand others. Since I was little, I was always the other one among my classmates, the one who, the one who did not understand why we had to take naps in the afternoon, the one who questioned everything that the teacher said until getting into trouble, the one uh, who, and of course, the one who, thanks to all of this, didn't have many friends. I used to get into trouble for not following the rules, which I didn't think were quite fair sometimes, or for refusing to act according to something I didn't agree with. Like, why were the boys always the chosen ones to carry the chairs while the girls had to stay there just listening or seeing? Still, I always taught myself over and over that it didn't matter, but it did. I would ignore everything that it was causing to me and try to remember the words the words that I had been told a few times by my, mo by my mother. No problem as you like it. You go as you want to, don't think about, about others. It's a good phrase. Now it is clear to me, but back then I was just a kid and I didn't, I didn't think it through. It was really hard for me not to think about others if they were all around me. No one will ever understand me. My feelings of sadness and loneliness turned into anger for not understanding why I couldn't be like them or why they couldn't be like me. And one day they called me a weirdo. And I felt that way, because after all, I was someone they didn't understand. And what is not understand is not only marginalized, but scary. And why are we afraid of the unknown? Uncertainty, not knowing something, can intensify the sense of threat in a situation, said Emma Tanovic, a psychologist with the Boston Consulting Group in Philadelphia. But we have to know that being different does not imply that one is abnormal, dangerous, sick, depraved, or a freak. It simply implies that one is not the same. But back then, I did believe I was one. So I started to repress my way of thinking. All, all this just to see if maybe that way I would finally be happy or normal. And the more I changed, the weirder I felt. What was bad before was now worse. I felt dirty and fake. Acting all the time like someone I wasn't didn't feel that void yet. The void of not being able to understand others and them not being able to understand me. Here's why, where I realized I wasn't happy. Then my bubble started to get smaller and smaller until suddenly I started to run out of air. My thoughts were suffocating me and only I could get them out because after all, I had locked myself in there with them. I started thinking if maybe just open up wasn't an easier answer because after all, changing, uh, changing to adapt to others had not worked and had even made things worse. Maybe the answer was just simply to accept myself. Still, I was afraid I wouldn't be accepted for saying the things I really thought and meant, but that's when I discovered I wasn't the only one. I met someone who has a lot like me, and who was a lot like me. And it made me realize that I wasn't weird or abnormal, that I wasn't the only one and that I wasn't alone. There were more people who felt and were like me. At first, it was hard for me to assimilate that I would never be like everyone else. But if we look at it in a certain way, we are all weird. Because at the end of the day, we always have something that connects us with others or something that set us apart something that makes that make us unique and original. So I took what differentiated me from others and used it to my advantage. Projecting my way of thinking into activities I enjoy and trying to be more productive, having a way of seeing things maybe a little bit further made me feel good, made me feel that I had the power to not only see them, but to change them in a hopefully better way. So I discovered I could put my way of thinking into new rules that I thought were fair to everyone, trying to change things in a different way that we have always been taught. And I like that because now I was not only projecting my way of thinking into a more positive way, but for everyone. Then they began to notice me, but no, longer, but no longer as a strange person, but as a person with ideas. Ideas that of course, with help, could make things change. It just took me a little while to understand that being different can be a good thing. And realizing this would allow to change the image that people had of me and get this image out of my own mind as well. Little by little, I managed to become what I'm still building an image of someone who wants to do something, who is willing to tell one of her per own personal stories just to see if maybe this way someone else who feels like they don't fit in will relate to this. And if I accomplish my goal, um, and if that, uh, I, I accomplish my goal, discover that they're not alone. 
and that of course they can use what they can use what makes them different to do something extraordinary. We have the right and we can behave and say what we, what we think without the fear of being labeled or judged because there will always be someone who understands what you're talking about. And we can use our pe peculiarities, what makes us different from others, to build something important for the world, for ourselves, and along with it, to accept ourselves completely. Thank you. <laughs>